Good evening and welcome to Christchurch Fronton on this Thursday night at 6pm for our nightly prayer for the nation. Listen to these words that Jesus said in John chapter 15. He said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. What an amazing claim by Jesus that when we come to him in prayer and ask for things, then those things will be done. That doesn't mean we can ask for anything. It's not a shopping list. It means that The more we abide in Jesus, the more we become familiar with his will, that our heartbeat is in step with him, that our values are shaped by his values, that we come to pray for the things which are already in his will. And then he answers them. So as we come to pray tonight, let's really be seeking to abide in Jesus so that what we pray might be according to the will of God. With that in mind, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that you invite us to abide in you. You invite us to be branches connected to the vine. And you promise that we have a vine dresser in your Father and that we can bear fruit, the fruit of your Spirit. Thank you that as we pray to you tonight, we're not on our own. We have you, Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour. We have your Holy Spirit. We have your Father. Thank you for the wonderful relationship that we have with God in three persons this evening. Heavenly Father, we pray to you now through your Son in the power of the Spirit, asking you to draw near to us and asking that our prayers might be according to your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On a Thursday night, our focus of prayer is for the NHS, such a huge organisation that does an incredible job and many different parts of the NHS, many different aspects to it. And often there's parts that we don't pray for, the the distribution side, um, those motorbikes taking blood from one hospital to another, the donor aspects, the infrastructure support services. And so we're going to pray for those tonight, but of course we want to pray especially for those treating patients, those face-to-face. But let's, as we do that, remember that there are many other people behind the scenes who make it work. So let's pray. Mighty God, we thank you for our National Health Service, for the blessing it is, free to access health care at the time of need. We thank you for emergency departments that we can turn up at and receive care. We thank you for paramedics who come to our homes and deliver treatment when we need it the most or take us to hospital. We thank you for all the many wonderful people who work for the NHS, from administrators, doctors, secretaries, to the consultants and junior doctors, to those who train in universities, to those who lead the big organisations of the NHS, to the trust executives. And of course, we pray for support staff, those making meals, those preparing laundry, those cleaning, those delivering. Lord, we thank you so much for every person who works with the NHS. But we especially pray that you'll continue to sustain, to protect and to give strength to those who right now are face to face with patients. Nurses and doctors, physiotherapists and other healthcare assistants. Lord, please bless them. May they be fulfilled in their work. May they know that they are, in that sense, doing something that's within the image of God. Lord Jesus, you um, were so so keen on health care. When you walked the earth, the majority of, of your public ministry was spent healing. And so, Lord, we know that healing is important. Making people better is important to you. So we pray, Lord, that those who work in the NHS will know that making people better is important to God. Lord, establish the work of their hands. May what they do bring you glory and may you use them as agents of your healing. And we pray for any in our local community of Thornton Cleveland. If there be any who are poorly and haven't been anywhere or told anybody or don't know what to do next, give them the, the, um, the sort of impulse to, to contact the right people and may the attention they need be forthcoming very soon. We pray, Lord, for any who are unwell, who live in local streets of Fonts and Cleveland. Please, Lord, help them. Be their helper. Be their refuge and shelter. Be their strength. And grant them faith in you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, our special collect, our prayer for this week, reminds us that Jesus has overcome death and has opened to us the gate of everlasting life. A reminder that death does come our way. But as believers in Christ... Resurrection comes straight after it. So let's pray. Almighty God, 
who through your only son begotten, who through your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires. So by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Good night and God bless.